All right, so this video we're coming back to an old diagram. I think uh, I just washed my hands or something and like a water spot uh, built up there and bled through a little bit more than the rest. But in uh, any case, uh, that was a long time ago. Again, old diagram. But um, at some point I decided uh, I'd make a diagram where our goal is 10 milliamps through an LED. We can do some calculations and stuff to see how uh, circuits like that are gonna behave. So we have the uh, red LED on top right here. So red LEDs, the indicator LEDs that uh, commonly come with kits and stuff, they tend to have a forward voltage of two volts, which means you need about two volts before any current will even start flowing through it. You know, like 1.5 volts, it starts flowing a bit. Um, but as current goes up, it builds up about two volts across it. So it's building up that two volts. That means that voltage out of the supply voltage is dropped when it comes to the resistor. So we end up with three volts across a resistor that is in series with the red LED being powered by five volts. And um, so if your goal is to get about a specific amount of current, um, because you might not have the exact value resistor you want, you can just take three volts divided by 0 0.01 amps right there. And uh, so that will be a hundred times larger than the voltage, 300 ohms right there. Um, you could also do three volts divided by 300 ohms is 0 0.01 amps. Um, so in any case, that will let 10 milliamps of current uh, flow through the circuit right there. And um, so we got, uh, for the resistor here, three volts times 0 0.01 amps. That's how you figure out how warm it's gonna get. That's the wattage, 0 0.03 watts. So most uh, resistors that you get in kits and stuff, the most common uh, size is 0.25 watts, but that's the maximum. You really want to stay below 0.125, and this is well below. So um, resistor, you could probably uh, pull it out of the board. Well, uh, the it's being powered. It's, it's probably not going to be that hot. You might not have to wait for it to cool down. A lot of times I pick up uh, resistors, um, they're they're really hot. I get like a burning feeling on my fingers, but they're not very large, so like it doesn't cause a serious burn. I don't get a blister or anything. Now we come to uh, the blue LED right here. Has a forward voltage. They, they tend to have a forward voltage of three volts. So might get a little trickle at 2.5 volts. Below that, like no current's gonna flow through it. And then uh, when you get about 10 milliamps of current uh, flowing through it, because they don't limit current, they just kind of drop some voltage. Uh, then you'll have about three volts built up across it, leaving about two volts across the resistor. And uh, again, the math is easy. We have, uh, if you wanna do the current to find the resistance, you can do two volts divided by 0 0.01 amps equals 200 ohms. And uh, so it's, uh, you know, 100 times larger than what the voltage is to get 0 0.01 amps, the voltage across the resistor. It's not the supply voltage. Um, Somebody mentioned this in a recent video. It's something I used to think, so I don't think that person is uh, dumb or anything. Um, I used to have a hard time. You got five volts at the supply, that will determine the current through the resistor. Nope, if something's in series with it, it's taken away some of the voltage. So um, if that's confusing, be aware of that. When they're in series, uh, the voltage is divided up among the components. LEDs have a fixed voltage they put across them. Uh, resistors, they divide down the voltage uh, with other resistors. Since the LED drops a certain uh, voltage, there's no other resistor in the circuit, so it has what is left, the two volts. Hopefully that makes sense. So, in any case, getting back here, we got about 10 milliamps of current going through as we calculated. Um, since there's less voltage across the resistor, even though it's a lower value, so you might think it gets warmer because lower values tend to pass more current, we dropped more current from it. So there's actually less voltage across it than what we had up here. And thus, it's going to be a fair amount uh, cooler, about two thirds the uh, heat generated as what we had up there, right there, 0 0.02 watts. Hardly any wattage at all. So um, in any case, uh, that's about it. Hope you enjoyed this review.